Gligsy W. Um, my apologies if I mispronounced that. Um, hi Phil, just wanted to ask, did any member of staff from the places you went gambling ever approach you and ask any questions? If not, do you think it might have helped? Or would you have just said, what's it got to do with them, etc, etc? In very interesting question. Um, not something I think I've ever spoken about before. Uh, I used to gamble a lot on fob tees and bookmakers and stuff like that. Um, a lot of the time I used my card, this is back when you could use cards over the counters to deposit, and I used to go and deposit £200 at a time, often multiple occasions in one visit. Um, once, I think, I got approached in a bookies, or not, one I've not been in before, um, and the lady came over from behind the counter and sort of said, hi there, you know, I see you're playing on very high stakes, um, just wanted to sort of check you're okay sort of thing. I can't remember exactly what she said, but it was worse to that effect. It was kind of probably, in all honesty, she was probably quite new, probably just recently had her training and uh, was actually one of the few people who actually still bothered to, to do that. Um... I was very polite. I didn't say what's it got to do with you. Um, I generally try and be uh, very polite to service staff. Um, it's one of people who are rude to anyone in sort of hospitality or retail or anything is one of my bugbears. But um, yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously I was uh, an addict at the time. I was gambling more than I could reasonably afford. Um, but I just said, yeah, no, I'm, I'm fine. Thanks. No, I, I, you know, I gamble a lot. You know, it's, it's no, it's no problem. Basically, I'm absolutely fine. Um, so fair play to that, that lady um, for asking. I don't think it really does an awful lot of good um, because, as I, just, as I alluded to earlier, you know, if, if you've got a gambling addiction, if you've got a problem with gambling, you know you've got a problem with gambling. You know, you don't think, um, at least not, you know, when you're a little bit down the line, you don't think you're, you're in control. You don't think, oh, I'm just doing this for fun. You know that it's a problem. You know that you're doing it too much. You know that it's causing issues in your life. So... If you just if you wanted to do something about it, if you didn't want to do it, then you wouldn't be there. So I I can't imagine it's going to be super successful. You know, the only thing it might do, excuse me one second. The only thing I think it could do is um, give people sort of after the fact something to think about. You know, um, if if someone comes up to you and and tries to talk to you about your gambling problem. I can't imagine you, you're going to stop gambling there and then, but maybe later down the line, once you've left the bookies, once you've got home or whatever, it might something. It might trigger something to sort of think, make you think, well, actually, hang on a minute. You know, this is obviously being noticed and then sort of address address your situation and maybe decide to do something about it. But I think in the, the then and now, um, no, I don't, I don't believe that's ever going to be really successful. And fair play to those who try it. Um, you know, like I say, fair play to those staff who do sort of try and help or do approach people because, you know, I wouldn't want to do it. Um, you know, I've seen in one of my early videos, you know, you can see the anger people often have when they're gambling. Um, you know, the, the, the violent tendencies of people who have lost a lot of money, particularly in bookies, particularly on fobties and stuff like that, you know. So fair play to the people who try and address it. Um, I wouldn't want to do it because I wouldn't want the backlash, you know. Hell hath no fury like a an angry gambler. And um, so, yeah, fair play to those who try, but I, I think the success rate is going to be limited.